Instagram starts doing countdown on us. We're talking about sex and shame. Mm -hmm. Last week we talked about shame and because it's such a broad topic, we actually touched on a few things. And the one that we can really relate to because of our cultural background and um and the the our upbringing and our upbringing religious reasons religious reasons cultural reasons societal reasons whatever whatever you is know, yeah. sex let's talk about sex baby let's talk about you and me let's talk about all the good things all the bad things that baby let's talk about oh no, my dog downstairs getting frisky Hello everybody that's leggy, just joined us. Leggings. So what do you think? Next year I'm gonna join the X Factor. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Okay. Alright, let me just calm the heck down. So we are talking about sex and shame. Honey, you wanna go? Mm. So as growing up in a Muslim family, mm. I was brought up as a as a Muslim child. Oh you got short legs. They never Sorry. Got, they're actually dangling the <laughs> dangling off the <laughs> If Sorry. I sit back on the sofa, my legs are right up. Yeah. Versus an eaters. <laughs> this, yeah. this is how we roll. <laughs> coach, little coach. Yeah. Big soul, little soul. Big soul, little soul. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I was brought up in a, I would call it strict. The thing was, if it was strict, mm. like strict religion, and it yeah. was just for religion, it would be different. It was more cultural. Mm. It was about taboo. It was about the shame that I was going to bring on my family. Yeah. You see what I mean? It's yeah, that's yeah. about religion, is it? Well, they bring in religion they use, into it. My dad used the word religion, religion to actually yeah. to back, it, back himself to back up. himself up. Yeah, and I think yeah. that's why I. Um, yeah. Anyway, so I uh, I was so my mother is a Christian mm. and my father a Muslim, so they both tried to. Um, Teach us their parts of religion. That is very interesting, isn't it? On its very, own. yeah, on its own because it's diverse, very yeah. much so. However, what my dad said: if you go out, mm. he kept saying, if you go out, you will get raped. Ooh, that's harsh. Anywhere you go, that's because harsh. that's what men do. So the, yeah. my impression of men growing up was: if I go out, they're gonna look at me. They would want to rape me. Didn't know what rape was, yeah. but they would want to rape me because the words that my dad used. And if I could not even, I would love to one day say on here because no one would understand it because you have to yeah. translate it. Yeah, it's almost like it was like you're going to get. Oh, that's nasty. Badly, but in his Ooh. own language, not in English. That's so, that's his own dirty mind manifesting into existence. Possibly. That's it, because that is what he but probably he did, would do to a woman. But he did that with my, both my other sisters too. So all three of us mm. had a really bad um, impression of sex. We thought it's dirty, we should not do it. If we mm. did it, we are the, we're the sinners and we're going to go to hell. Oof. And that's if we got um, had sex with someone before marriage. So to me, the word sex was like a completely shameful, shameful thing if I was to any get nearer a guy. And that's even talking came under that bracket. Yeah. Even sitting next to it came under that bracket. I was told that if Touching. I sat next to a boy, I'll get pregnant. Yeah, that kind of... Uh, so I forever, I, I tr throughout my young, young age, my, my teens and early 20s, even till now at 37 years old, still think it still thing. haunts me. When a guy sits next to me, like let's say the net restaurant or something, I feel like I'm going to get pregnant. Although I know how the bees and the birds work. I you know how everything. Huh? You feel that you're gonna get pregnant. Well, you know, you know, psychologically, you know, when you know when you've been drummed into your psyche that oh, when you sit next to a guy, you get pregnant. Basically, they told me all the nasty things. So Monica says, yes, when you have the parents very as extreme and don't tell you anything about sex at 40 years ago, it was all bad in Spain. Oh wow. In Spain, in where? In, in Spain. Spain, really? Wow. Well, I didn't. I didn't. That'd be interesting actually to hear somebody else's culture. Yeah. Actually. I did not, can I be honest, I don't think I remember having a conversation about sex and how it works. Because obviously, again, I grew up in a Christian um, background. My grandmother is a strong Christian. My grandmother brought me up. So is my mother as well. Um, they were anti-sex. They were anti anything to do that is that the, the, the religion objects to. So we were not allowed, if my grandmother, the way we used to dress then was we wear, wear our beret to cover our head and then we have to wear long dresses to cover our knees and stuff like that. Yeah. So basically we have to cover up, don't show any bits of our body. And we used to go to Bible school and when we go to Bible school, all they talk about is do not look at boys, anything to do with sex, we could not even mention it. Really? Yes. So to be honest with you, did I know where, what goes where? And what happens and what our orgasm is whatever i didn't get to know that till i was probably in my college years 
college years that is when i knew what sex is and how to perform sex and how what this that that and that was through my classmates and through sex education but they touched on it briefly they didn't talk about it elaborately like we do now obviously on the internet my daughter knows about sex more than i do well we went to um we were invited to their school at year six didn't yeah we? yeah so at the age of 11, 11. They, they invite the parents mm. and the kids were with the same room or not no no they they told they us what they were they were going to show them yeah they so they did the set education so it was quite yeah. elaborate as well You're very elaborate was a, it was a, like a animated yeah but it was you know it told you about girls running boys running around muslim girls. family here too oh it says on the hell part is so on point totally can relate oh dana says about the hell part muslim the muslim religion yeah it's yeah. like uh you know that i i mean if you had sex without being um married you were yeah. going straight to hell yeah and the, the thing was it wasn't just state if if that was it if mm. you just you believed in that both your parents said no i really that there here's the reason why the mm. logic behind mm. it if you go sleeping with loads of people there's a possibility you will get pregnant mm. you may have a disease mm. versus you're gonna go out and you're gonna get yourself pregnant yeah the word that my dad used i don't want to repeat it on insta live but, but they're like horrible, horrible. Yeah. and they associated sex with something horrid to this day to this day i still feel the same really exactly to this day, I still feel sex is horrible. I don't have actually I could live without it. So basically, they've scarred you for life, for life in terms of so you see, that's the thing. Okay, for me personally, that's 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 it. Because obviously, for me, we both had a negative upbringing, upbringing in, in terms of yeah. sex, and you know, sex wasn't seen as a beautiful thing, it was seen as a dirty thing. So, because obviously we were brought up like that, we have personally have not such a lovely pleasurable experience related to sex hmm. i remember when i was in search of happiness you know belonging feeling needy and wanting somebody to admire me and to want me and i used to like feel like okay for them to love me and i wasn't just going, i'm not a slapper i wasn't just going with anybody do you know what i'm saying but the relationship that i was in Obviously, I feel like to be wanted, I had to now lay myself bare and be naked and be, con you know, be very, um, give, myself up. give myself up. Yeah, kind of like surrender myself. Do you know what I'm saying? Surely this has got to be part of it. Yeah, that's surely that's, a, yeah. But not really being in it. Don't be in not it. Don't really believe in it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I felt like, okay, maybe to be wanted, part of relationship is to now be able to commit yourself into that intimacy, you know, to have that lovely sexual experience. So whilst they were there, Having a good time, I was laying down there thinking, what the heck, this should get, this should just hurry up and get over with. Yeah. And the interesting thing is, I was married to, to a man for 15 years, 10 years actually, and I felt exactly the same, my ex-husband. I practically felt ripped in my oh, marriage. Yeah. I felt ripped because he was enjoying the whole pleasure and the ooze process. and the ads and the process and you know the pleasure that associated with sex for me i just lay down there and i didn't feel a thing didn't feel a thing so when women say oh they had orgasmic experience or whatever whatever for me for 10 good years i was married to this dude i never had it remember we had a conversation and we said to ourselves how does he feel to have an orgasm remember and we thought we thought like something was wrong with us <laughs> We thought we were like something is wrong with us because we see people talking about their experiences and people talking about oh my god being very open about it and mm. and I, I remember then I kept thinking to maybe there's something wrong with me. But we was, then you talked to me and I then I said the yeah that's it yeah and Farah said the same thing that she said shared the same thing so possibly it might be a psychological thing possibly that has happened from the way because that's why one one has to be careful. Let's put it this way. I will never be in the relationship to initiate it because to me yeah. it's something dirty. To me, it's yeah. really do we have to, and it's affect, it affects your relationship because yeah. of, because of that. Yeah. Um. You know, I was married to my husband for twenty years. He mm. was, he was maybe very understanding. I don't know. It, it kind of worked for both of us. You know. But I think some people actually, you know, when because sex is an is an intimacy thing, is a love thing, is a you know when you get this two body. God has made us. To yeah, it's, it's two. It's, it's two it's people communicate, connecting. connecting. So when one person is connecting and you're not, they're not feeling so that the other person is. Isn't there a way that they can tell? There should be. They should be able to tell. I think if someone's, it, 
their intuition is right and they in tune with your body or you and you but either that or they choose no afro what's wrong he'll say what's wrong no but what happens if you're deeply into into it and then and you know there's some people that are really into the sex so at that point they are, are having a good time they are in their own but that's very world selfish, isn't it? no but then they're in their own world and they're not even looking at you and then they're not even knowing whether you're enjoying it and then after they're like oh did you enjoy it and i'm thinking they're just not nice yeah yeah that's not nice because i remember mine yeah if, if that's what he was doing then that's I, I remember it was and i was just like that ooh ah ooh ah ooh 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 ah ooh ah sorry <laughs> Sorry, sorry. But it is, yeah. It says, I think I teach. Oh, oh, oh don't go, please. I teach. Oh, oh can we not take that, it down? I don't know whether we can go down. Okay, okay. oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Right. I teach my girl, my girl, what is good and bad. Now she is 19 years old, and that's that now is her life. So basically, yeah, if you teach a child how to have a good relationship yeah. to sex, then obviously they can not now go. And now experience it because they're, they're bound to experience it but you want it to be a good if i said to my son i have two boys if i kept saying to them stop you mustn't have sex because you're gonna get a girl pregnant yeah am i just taking it from one end i'm not saying anything more about it yeah Do you know what i mean yeah look how many different sides there is to sex why am i why have i picked something that's my insecurity and put it onto him because all i want is please don't make anybody pregnant don't contract hiv yeah. don't get any std all the Versus what if versus going through the whole thing, yeah, pro cons, what happens when you do, you know, all mm, of it. It's mm. hard conversation to yeah. have, but it, that's why it's hard being parent, yeah. It is, but you, but you know, before like sex was associated with love, okay, sweetheart. Oh, okay, okay, okay. give my wants to give you love, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, so you know, like sex with you know, what well, is normally associated with love, hmm. but now people have sex willy nilly, pleasure. So now you can go to a club, pick after the club, someone. pick up someone, go behind the club, whatever, in the alley, and you just do it. That to me, never. I've never done that. First time I had sex was with my husband, and it was a horrible experience of my life. It was painful, oh, yeah. painful. I didn't know what to do. I was 21 years old, yeah. and I was. I just felt like I failed the whole thing. I thought, what is wrong with you? You've come from Pakistan, married a British person. You don't know what to do. <laughs> you think you're gonna five? You're not gonna survive five minutes. No, but how do we know what? That's the thing. I, how do we know what goes tell, where? I did tell Keith. I don't know any of this because I've never had, had sex, sex before. Because I was so frightened to even go near a guy. That I mean, I did. I did hang out with boys. That's the reality. But mm. I never. Took it to that stage yeah not a child because i all in my head was that if i do that i'm gonna go in hell I, and now sitting here i don't think yeah I, I don't fear hell because i'm a good person and mm. you know if i was doing things to upset people and mm. really nearly having sex then mm. you mm. you know what i mean there yeah. is a reason why people say you go to hell isn't mm. there they take it well but do you do you also think that people use that religion thing as a as a way of justifying deep down they Correct. really want it but they are using this religion thing to kind of hide the fact that they are thinking lustfully and you know uh, as we grew older mm. we sisters talk mm. especially talking to my younger sister mm. and unfortunately my, the connection it's not connecting my other phone so she's not on um she normally connects yeah. with us oh, sorry. um she said the same she said i had exactly the same issues yeah i had same thing i have i feel the same i found it really hard to have sex again she only had sex with her husband that she's one person yeah for her entire life yeah that's because we're too frightened to experience that with yeah. anyone else yeah you know? yeah and some of that is because if you don't know if you think about it, if you don't know what you're doing mm. is that, that a right thing that, 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 that's what i'm saying life? because i remember when i first had sex i was lousy <laughs> No, I think everybody would be I mean, No, but I don't know. I don't even know what went where. Just, I don't even know when they say eating the G spot. I, girlfriend is still trying. G spot is like after having sex for years. Hang on. The girlfriend is still trying to find where the G spot is. I was going to say, say. <laughs> I don't even know. G for the. Does it even exist? I don't I, know. No, some people say it exists. I mean, for me, I mean. <laughs> I'm still okay, trying. Okay, everyone's like, wow, this is a conversation that we No, well, but the, the thing is, I don't even, I'm being honest. Do you know what I'm saying? I cannot pretend I know where it is. Oh, today I feel like we're sitting around red table. <laughs> I don't know where it is. You can call me John. Okay, I have, I have had, 
I don't know where the G spot is, and I've gone to the doctor and I've tried to ask questions. I've asked well, my GP. You've asked your GP then? Yeah, I didn't ask my nurse. I remember when I was going for my smear test, and they poked that thing right into me for my smear test. And I said to the lady, to the nurse, I said, Excuse me, <laughs> I've got a question. What is a G spot? And then she looked at me like with a red, <laughs> red face. I, and I said to her, right, because I would not have been No, because that. I'm curious. I am oh, curious. Yeah. Because the thing Google. is, I had to now Siri, think. could you tell me where Jesus No, because I had to now say to myself, am I, oh, I need to flick that up. Okay. Sorry. I had to now ask myself, like, you, <laughs> you are from Africa. I want to ask you one daily question. Oh, oh, yes. Ask a question. Ask a question, Monica. Yeah. So I was like thinking, where is the G? Because I hear people having all this, like, fantastic orgasmic experience. Like, some of them will tell you they were hanging off the rooftop and they were having this out of this world experience they were like Ooh. my mum said my mum said told me you should feel like you're in heaven <laughs> i said my dad said i'm gonna be in hell <laughs> Your mom said me. Like in heaven. <laughs> neither that's not happened yet so still waiting for heavenly experience here <laughs> experience. no it's just interesting it's honestly i am still trying sex is something I'm, I'm still trying to figure out I'm, i don't get me wrong i am not i'm not a big i have a child of 13 year old so i must have figured out something right to have no, a 13 year old because having, having a baby is nothing oh well he shot it in the right direction so, yeah, so <laughs> like you're fertile and you, and you got a good body to carry a baby but i, I was just saying that yeah. when you're a, my dad my dad had a bad experience himself there's, oh, so that's the, why I always believe in pe no one's good or bad. Okay, yeah. no one or definitely no one's bad. Yeah, it's the behaviors. Yeah, influenced by your surroundings. Yeah. So my dad uh, married my mum, who's Brazilian, and yeah. then the rest of I regretted it because he thought I've now married her. She's loose character. Oh. You know why? Because she had a boyfriend and she carried this photo in her in his. Oh, so she now bag, was, Oh god. Which he found after they were together, and she, she he made her cry. I mean, this is what's coming out all now because I'm asking all these questions. Yeah. Why were you with him if he was so emotionally abusive? You know, why were you with him? So she's telling me all this now because only she's realizing it now. Mm. So you see how you get influenced. Yeah. And she he has sex. He married her because he could not have babies without. Oh, married. yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was so freaked out that he's going to go to hell. Oh, so he had to now get married quick to now get his yeah. groove on. Exactly. Oh. So then he had four kids banging on one My God, your dad is like, fat time. Yeah. Free. Two, 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 two. They, they met within two weeks. They had, <laughs> my mum was <laughs> pregnant. <laughs> your mum is as fat as egg. He was. She produced four. Oh, so, okay. And then he felt bad. So he kind of quickly married her religiously. Then he took her to Pakistan, tried to change her, convert her religion. Yeah, yeah. She was told that sex is dirty as well. He was all like, not explained in the right way, you see. I mean, and mm. I now have this whole emotional baggage and what I've learned to now teach my two boys in how, what this means. And you know, I need help with that. So I now talk to, I listen to the, I read the books, I listen to podcasts, mm. and when the time is right, when I take it up with my son, mm. and we've already had one conversation, me and Zane, mm. it's about masturbation. Mm. I, I did that openly, because mm. I thought, you're gonna, whatever you want to ask me, I will talk to you about that, yeah. because I'm not going to hide, and I'm not going to, and I'm so glad you've asked. Yeah. And you know, I'm actually going to talk to him about it. Yeah. Say, no, but yeah. 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 We should. I should talk you to should, him about yeah, it. You should, yeah, you should. I want to tell him my experience. No, because maybe, the thing is, what he... Is you this conversation should come from you, not from his dad. But I said to him, when you talked to his dad, he said he wasn't comfortable. No, he won't be. Because he's a guy. He wasn't comfortable. Yeah, he is a guy. He wouldn't he wouldn't be comfortable talking about masturbation with his dad. He didn't. Yeah, he and wouldn't. We talked about things like, you know, um, you know, when mommy comes in the room, he said to me, Could you please knock on the door now? You know, we had serious conversation. Yeah. And and you know, what mommy shouldn't find anything, you know, yeah. dirty. Yeah. But you know, yeah. all of those things your life is your life but yeah. you've got certain you live in mommy's yeah. house dad's house and yeah. this is how you need to behave no but that's the thing that's having that honest conversation i wish i had that honest conversation that is a friendly conversation that mothers and children have without having this tensed thing because the come my conversation was like oh don't even talk about it sex mm -mm. go to hell satanic demonic mm -mm -mm. end up i wasn't even allowed to ask what do you what what goes where I wasn't even allowed to ask what penis was. I wasn't even allowed to ask what vagina was. I wasn't even allowed to even I mean, ask what sperm was. The word vagina was like a big. Someone's trying to call you. Oh no no no! It's my it's a photo. Yeah. Oh. Um. 
And I wasn't even allowed to ask those questions. Even now, at 37 years old, I cannot even <laughs> oh, talk about certain things sex related with my mother. Mm. How, and, how would you think you were going to be different to your daughter? What's, what have you so far said anyway? You mean with Zahara? Yeah. We, <laughs> obviously, they live in the uh, technology world now. Yeah, so don't know. So they're exposed to that. Yeah. So Does I try. Answer? We know because she hasn't asked about it. She's not. She has friends who have done it. Really? Yes. One of them is even has even fallen pregnant, oh. and she's even had determination at a time of Zahara thirteen. Okay. So and to her it grosses her out. She's like, oh my gosh, no, mommy sex, no. And I don't want to. And when even even jokingly, if I say, "Oh my God, Zahara, your boyfriend, which boy do you like?" She goes, "Oh, mommy, stop it!" So she hates it and she runs away. For me, I still like that kind of innocent thing about her. Do you know what I'm saying? But she will have to grow up. She's 13. She will get to six. She's going to, going to be 16 in three years' time, and she's going to be 18 soon. So that conversation will be had. You, but I want the conversation when we're ready. Her. Yeah. When we're ready and when she's ready, because mentally I don't think she's ready to have that conversation yet. Mm. Because she still sees, she doesn't want to think about it yet. Yeah. She still has like, you know, guys like, you know, maybe she sees a, a musician or whatever. She said, oh, he's Peng. That's her word. He's Peng. Peng is a new peng. word. Peng, peng, peng. Peng, peng, peng. peng. Need that message, the one. Oh, no, I need to flick it up. Sorry, guys. Let me just flick this message. No, that one. Uh... Um, sorry, somebody says, okay, yeah. sorry. I expect Anita, oh sorry, sorry, I'm coming too close. I expect Anita, don't offend you this question. I know all, all Asian culture. I ask because you are from the country. Okay, I need to figure out what the question is. Farah, keep talking while I figure out the question. Okay. Yeah, so just see what you guys really are thinking about it and it's hard one to come forward and talk okay oh she said enough. sorry sorry yeah, honey so it's the abduction in young girls that's finished that africa and to marry when they are so young yes kids still marry when they are young yes it happens in certain parts of my country where i come from girls still marry at a very young age mm -hmm. i am not from that part of the world thank god for that I think if any person comes up to my mother right now and says they want to marry, if they wanted to marry me when I was, let's say, 11 years old, I swear, my mother, will my, mo <laughs> my mother will say, hang on, you stay here, I'm coming. My mother will go to the get kitchen. And get <laughs> because the thing is, sometimes in those parts of the world, it's poverty. That leads to early child marriages, and I'm not talking about young men marrying young girls. I'm talking about grown ass men, old men that know better, marrying young girls and even impregnating them at such a young age. For me, that is cruel. It's cruel. It's cruel, cruel, cruel. And I thank God I am not part of that part of that in part from that part of the world. And it sickens me when I hear that and see that, and I cannot say it doesn't exist because it exists. Correct. It exists. So. And it's, some, it's not something I condone, and it's not something I'm going to expose my child to. I don't care if there's no man on this world, and if there's one man that is older, and they said, oh, they're coming to marry my child. I say, you know what? Leave me and my child alone. We'll die together. Don't marry her. You'll be on your own. There's no way I can give up my child to a grown man to have their filthy ways with my child. Impossible. Whether they have millions, whether they have billions, I'm sorry. Money cannot buy my daughter. End of. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. Thank God we're not in that part. Yes, thank God we're not in that part, and thank God we our children we is not growing. Like that, we have we? not got to make. It must be hard for some mothers who have, have allowed, or the men in their husbands have allowed men to make those, those decisions for them, because of, of, obviously the power has been taken away from their hands. So obviously it's the men that have to make the decision. The women have to now agree with what the men want. Mm. So imagine <laughs> as a mother. Is painful. I cannot even begin to fathom what the experience and the feelings of such mother because I cannot see my child be married off to a 67, 60 or 80, or 60 or 50 or 40 something year old man. Oh. Ugh, that is disgusting. Yeah. Even now, there are certain things I want around me. And I'm not being ageist. Do you know what I'm saying? 
there's certain experiences I want to go, go on. You want to experience? No, there's certain experiences I want to go on. I, I, I choose okay. carefully. I choose go carefully. On. No, I choose carefully. There are certain things people do. Do you know what I'm saying? Do in terms of their sexual experience. Do you know what I'm saying? That for me, myself, I cannot bring myself around to doing it. I remember I, when I was married to my ex-husband, we had a conversation about bringing in um, an extra person into the relationship. Hence, threesome. Hey, hey. Yeah. Wow. Well, and, I haven't um, heard this before myself, so. So it was a no-no for me. It was a no-no. It's a no-no. And I obviously dated the relationship. What did she say then? Huh? No, we just talked about it. And I was like, no, no. And obviously, there's certain obviously things as well that you wanted to try. For me, it's a no-no. Do you know what I'm saying? There's certain things for me. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am not an expert in sex. Do you know what I'm saying? But there's certain things that my naive self cannot do. If you bring me into a room whereby everybody is having an orgy, this girl is taking off her shoes and she's running. <laughs> she's running. Hey. She is running. And you're telling me, girlfriend, turn your back to do something. I said, please, bye-bye, adios. I am running. Because there's certain things I cannot do. My body cannot handle. And you feel disgusted. And I feel disgusted. Yeah, totally. I feel disgusted. You know, for me, I'm still, like I said, I'm not an expert in sex. You know what I'm saying? And I'm still trying to learn... In fact, I'm not, I've given up learning. I'm not learning because it doesn't interest me anymore. Do you know what I'm saying? It doesn't interest me anymore. And I had a girlfriend, we had a conversation about this, and, um, and she was telling me, oh, she's single as well, very, you know, professional job, and she's finding, um, she's finding it hard to remain single and being, um, what do you call it? Not abstaining, abstaining from sex. She found it difficult. She found it difficult to abstain from sex. And I'm saying to myself, girlfriend, what is wrong with you? She said to me, it's on her mind. She cannot stop thinking about it. Is, was she in a relationship before? She was in a relationship, but she's not in a relationship now. No, but then when she was, obviously, it's something you're missing, isn't it? Yes, yeah, she was in a relationship before. So for some and people, it's quite normal. No, but so, yeah, some people, it's normal and some people want it. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Some people, is, is, they want yeah, it all the time. They have high sex libido. Or I don't have that. Because, I think because you don't see it like that. For me, yeah. I don't. If, for me, mm. if like I said to you, if I didn't have sex for the rest of my life, I would okay. not think I'll miss it. Yeah. For me, affection is more important. Like, yeah. is more important. That's it. Communication is more important. Respect. And when you talk about sex, maybe it's because also, and again, it's not like I've gone with too many people, but the relationships I've had, and obviously, it wasn't a pleasurable sexual experience. Obviously, they enjoyed it. They were like, oh, they, you know, this is fantastic. I'm not thinking, oh, Anita did not do nothing. She's got it just here. Do you know what I'm saying? But they had a good time. And for me, and I left those relationships thinking used and abused. Do you know what I'm saying? Because they got their experience. They got their thrill. Maybe you didn't get anything out of it. I felt cheap. I didn't get nothing out of it. And I think, yeah, and if it's not equal, that's how you're going to feel. Like, yeah. Like an advantage of. Like, that's it. Like anything else, let alone sex. That, exactly. I felt taken advantage of. And, the, and like the, as a woman, you should provide that. Do you understand? Like but else. the thing is, I gave consent to that. That's it. That's the shameful part because of it. Because you didn't know how to say no. I didn't know how to say no. Like, we've done a podcast about how to say no. This exactly comes into the same thing. I know. It is very difficult to say no because you think, well, for this relationship to move forward, even if I'm not liking this, I need to... <laughs> Maybe give it a go, try it. Yeah. But you know what? If it doesn't feel right, guys, yeah. and if you've been in a marriage for years and it doesn't feel, feel right, right, it's time to do something That's about it. That's it. It's time to let your partner know that it doesn't feel right. Yeah. Because it possibly, they don't know. They yeah. They not know why. Yeah. Because men very much think through their... I think. Through their bullets. Do you think that? They think through their bullet? I think most of the men I dated thought through their bullet. I've never they, heard that word before. Well, I'm, I'm just, it's a made up word for me, bullet. Have you just made it up? Yeah, they just shoot right through. So. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so looking forward to this holiday. Oh my god, it's gonna be so fun. Oh. Our, our play ride is gonna be so fun. Oh my god, Egypt, here we come. It's like. <laughs> you know what's gonna hit you? So oh my god. Are going to be oh. dominating. It's gonna be so fun. But the thing is, it's like, yeah, so it's for me. <laughs> We're going to have like the biggest crowd around us, isn't it? Because we start opening our conversation. <laughs> but we have to be careful about certain things we talk about because in certain, certain part of the world, they do not know. appreciate this kind of, yeah. Yeah. So it's just like interesting. So <laughs> so obviously, they had, I'm going back to, they had their pleasure. I didn't. 
So for me, that also kind of like left a nasty taste in my mouth. So how without many being women, like, really, how many women listening to this now are actually having the same thing? Yeah, It'd be interesting to know. I feel like the numbers will be quite high. I feel that, but that might be my issue. And a lot of people, I feel in relationships, are staying in relationships whereby they feel like they have to give in into sex to be able to keep the relationship flowing. Yeah. You know, they feel like sex is the way to declare love. So if you give yourself up... It's got nothing to do with love. It's got nothing to do with love. Sex has got nothing to do with love. You can actually have a healthy, perfectly beautiful relationship without sex. Mm. Without sex. Do you know what I'm saying? I know we need to reproduce, have children, yes. Do you know what I'm saying? But you can have a fantastic, lovely relationship without sex. Totally. Yeah? So it's says so funny. <laughs> I know, bullet! <laughs> it's like, shush, shush, shush. She, she is. She is yeah. pushing the boat. No, but you know, you know, to be honest with you, oh, from, you know, from now, I, I have made a decision. Like I said, it's all about decision. What I allow into my internal space. Yeah, that's one of them. I cannot allow certain things. I cannot go and eat bad food and expect good things to come out of me. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah? I cannot allow, I, I cannot allow myself to take poison and not expect to die from it. Do you know what I'm saying? So I have to be careful what I in, allow into my internal space. <laughs> Are you analyzing? What the hell's going on? I know it's much. <laughs> To, this might be my airport look, honey. I, so. I, I bet you would. I bet yeah. you would look for everything. Oh my god! I'm still gonna be missing out on this. No, you're no. No, because I have no look for airport apart from comfy trainers. Just come as you are. Come leggings, as you are. Leggings and trainers. That's how you are. How I walk. <laughs> Literally, I have looked at my wardrobe and I thought, oh, this this person is never. I'm gonna be such a bad assistant. No, you'll be fine. She's gonna be fine. Me. No, you'll be fine. You're I'm not gonna, gonna be a bad assistant. You'll be fine. You're just gonna have some jewelry on. You'll be fine. Just and you just, just smile. Just stick a load of jewelry on me and I'll be yes, fine. Yes, and you'll be fine. You just look amazing as you are. You'll be fine, honey. You'll be fine. So, uh, so what was I talking about? Yeah, make a conscious decision to be careful what I allow into my internal space, space and mm -hmm. into my body. Because you have to be careful. Okay, this thing called energy, yeah? Energy transfers into body fluid. Yes. Body fluid. You have to be careful what somebody injects into your body. Yeah? Somebody, somebody is not in a good place in their body. Yeah. They can inject that aura into your thing in the name of love or in the name of intimacy. So I have to be careful what I allow somebody to inject in me. You mean in terms of having sex? Shoot out. No, shooting. Sperm uh, going through. I know, but in terms of disease, you're worried about? Or? No, not in terms of disease. Like, in terms of, you know, like, the, the body fluid that is exchanged when one is having sex. Right, okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, I have to be careful of that. I don't want anything that is not good for me to go into my system. And I'm not just going to do it because, obviously, um, I'm desperate for it or, or I, I want it. No, I have made a decision. You know what? I have abstaining from sex. I don't want it. Not like I was good at it anyway. I, I think I was good at it. <laughs> you didn't <even> practice? <laughs> Maybe I didn't even practice. Maybe, you didn't even Maybe practice. I didn't even practice, but I'm not missing it, so I don't want it. Hey. I don't want it. Never say never, though. Maybe somebody, might, the Lord God might just throw a dashing young person around my way, somebody around my way and teach me a few things or something. I'm, wor I'm worried about Egypt because she does like someone. I might have to leave the hotel. Room. Oh no, of course no. I'm not like that, honey. I know, you know. I know, I'm not like that. No, no. I think no. I think it's a decision I've made. Yeah. Abstaining from sex, abstaining from relationships, and just kind of just throw myself into my work. And as a result of that, I've got what an opportunity next week. Yes, yes. You see, when you surround yourself with good things, good things will Happen always come to you. To you. Yeah, oh, definitely. You know, so it's like great opportunities come to you. So shame, shame, being feel like shame. shame. What is sex a shameful thing for you right no, now? For me, after for me, it's disappointing. It's left a not so nice experience for me. So it's disappointing for me. Hmm. It'll be good for you to turn the experience around. It will be, but till the, till I find the right person, so I'm not gonna go around looking for somebody oh, no, to I now. Know. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna just abstain from it for a while till, till my. Till I feel like I'm ready, but yeah. right now I'm not almost, ready. Almost building new neurological pathways. Yeah. 
you know, erasing all of those what you were... It's going to be difficult yeah. because obviously it's been it's years like and every, years of like trauma. every day getting up and doing affirmation. I don't hate sex. I love sex. <laughs> I love sex. <laughs> I love sex. I don't know. you got to do something to start liking it. I because, know. Because you know what? I, I used to feel the same about, you know. No, but you're with Afro I now. I have a lovely partner, but that's my issue still, though. This is my But do you talk about it with him? Yeah, he knows. We talk about it. He knows. Yeah. And he's careful because of that. And he's very, very understanding because of that. But that something comes with me with every partner. Mm. Gosh. When people are like, wow. Oh, wow, you're going out with Afro. But you've got the best sex life yeah. ever. Oh, my God. The people think in their own heads whatever they want to think. You know. Mm. I know. And we do. We have a lovely relationship. We really, really do. But I, I'm saying that I, if I didn't have sex with Afro, whatever else, you'd be like, fine. Yeah, you'd be fine. But it's not all about sex, though. But I, li I like the cuddles with him. Yeah. I, I like the intimacy. Yeah. And all of those. Dana things. says Egypt is so much fun. Wish you were. Oh, thank you so much, Dana. Thank Isn't you. Dana, are you from Egypt? Do you live in Egypt? Oh, we'd like to know. If you are, then we you could come and see us. Yes, it'll be nice. It'll be nice. Oh my gosh. Any of our listeners, actually, guys, if you are in Egypt, we would love. It'll be lovely. What a famous, what a famous man likes you, singer, actor, etc. For me, for me, Gary, Gary is now is old the most. I like Sydney Porty. Oh my god, I love Sydney Porty. <laughs> Is it a book? It's an actor. It's, an, it's quite an old actor. Oh. But I, not like I'm fancy him in that way, but I, I find him inspirational. Okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I do like, have... I never look at any guy and think I want to have sex with him. No, no, I don't. Do you? No, listen, David Beckham can walk past me. And you know what? I will not even turn around and look at him twice. I, I look at him and I think you're really fit and I can see how much hard he was. But I never look at him. No, I will not look at him twice and I, I will not go gaga over him. I know, but I don't have... Is there no one that I can I look at and think I want to have sex with you? Never. But, no, but there's some people that won't dress you with their eyes. I know, but I like, don't have that ever because I, have, I don't have it. That's what I'm saying, but there's some people that are like that. There are some people right now that cannot... But, as we're speaking I, right now, I'm they are having... those people. I'm not envious of that. I am. Why? Because I'm thinking like, wow, they, they have this desire. They look at someone, they're like, wow, I really fancy you. You know, I Honey, don't... Honey, you desire that? Really? Did I not? No, of course. Well, no, no, I'm not telling you what to desire and what not to desire. It's up to you. Yeah, I'm just saying that I've never, I never look at someone and think, wow, they are so hot. I say that because they look good, but I never want to, you know, sleep with them. Hmm. Yeah. Dana says... No, from Jordan. She's from Jordan. Oh, Jordan. oh actually wanted to Nera. book a trip just to meet you, but couldn't because of oh, Dana. She would have come to you. She couldn't get some time off. That would oh be my amazing. God. We are going to Egypt on Wednesday. We will, I think we should have a meet up. Yes, it will be so nice. Yeah, definitely. We're going to Egypt on Wednesday and we're coming back. We're going to stay there for a few days. Okay. I know it's for work, but... We're going to show you some scenery where we are. We're going to show you some scenery. It's going to be nice. Hopefully we and then we can talk to you next Friday. Yes. Uh, we're trying to figure out what the timings are. Time so zone is going to be. Time for... So, what about these guys then? Because some of these guys are from Nigeria and other places, aren't they? We have to figure out how the timing works. What time is it in Jordan? Is Jordan and Egypt probably is it four or five hours ahead? I don't know. We need to figure that we out. We haven't figured any of that out. So we will be seeing you guys or we'll be talking to you guys, but we'll we'll do it at the same time as the UK time. Our UK time, yeah. So it'll be the same time as UK as you time. Are yeah. Used to, yeah. yeah. So it'll be the same time, but it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be amazing. Looking forward to those lovely experiences. Looking forward to meeting all those hormones around. <laughs> hormones? <laughs> I've just been funny. You mean those people in Egypt? <laughs> Know who's coming? Do we? We don't even have a clue. Everything is a shh, shh for now. Everything is, is everything is so secret. It's like we just know we, we've got a hotel. We know we no. We know our, our flight has been flight. booked. No hotel, sorry. Flight. <laughs> That's all we have. Our flight has been booked. We might be stranded. In... <laughs> no, we won't be stranded because there'll be somebody that will meet us. Shake, uh, shake, shake, shamu shake. shake. So we know that somebody's gonna meet us at the airport. Yeah. And say we're gonna have a private car. It's gonna take us to our bus or something with our suitcases with jewelry on it. You are gonna carry some of my jewelry. I am. Um, yes. wearing it from the airport. No, well, of course not. We're gonna dress light, oh, honey. Thank God. It's gonna be a long flight for both of us. <laughs> it's a Dana said, Oh, that is so nice. The time is one hour ahead of Jordan. Okay. Do you mean the time from UK time, or? Dana, what time is in Jordan? Just so we. 
We know, yeah. Yeah. Because we need to figure out the time difference. It's gonna be nice. Oh, we'll be fine. I said, uh, what, uh, theory. What's the weather in Shamo Sheikh? Twenty-three degrees. Degrees. Oh, and also, what's the weather? Yeah. No, this one wants to know. You know the first thing she asked me about the bikini. hotel? She goes to me, how do I pack my bikini? And would there be a gym at the hotel for her to work out? Fitness and nutrition coach. What else am I going to do every day? 6.30, I'm going to Well, in that gym. case, I'll carry my beads and carry my pliers. As she's working out, I'll be next to her making some jewelry. No, how about that? Actually, this is the opportunity to you do a session with me. Oh my, oh my gosh! Hey! We are going to be on a long flight together. You better get your creative juices going because you're going to make some jewelry by the time we leave Heathrow all the way to Egypt. You would have made two pieces of jewelry by then. Why? Of course. Yes! Around, no. Yes! I'm bringing my kit okay, with you. You better get ready for press-ups then. <laughs> bring it on. Fine. Bring it on. Shake I can hands. even do, bring it on. Hands. Guys, I'm going to do some press-ups on the plane. On the plane. I will record. I better make sure on. that I get my, my sports bra on. <laughs> We're doing it at the airport, in the plane. I'm gonna go buy my sports bra, oh my gosh. Wednesday's a very long day. We're not sitting, we're, we're doing squats, and we're doing lunges, Oh and we're doing my steps. gosh, she's making me do squats. Okay, she goes, Dana says, it's 9.11 p.m. It's 9.11 p.m. in Jordan. 9.11, so. Oh, so they're two hours ahead. So what were you, what are we? We're at 7.11. 7.11. So they're so two, two hours ahead. So two hours, so, so then Egypt is one hour, so that's three hours altogether, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, so we should, we should be all right. There's nothing like um, jet lag, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Three hours not too bad. No, we'll be fine. With me doing press ups and with you doing jewelry, yeah. we'll be fine. So we're going to be 10 o'clock there, aren't we? 10 o'clock Egypt time, we're going to be coming on. Yeah, so don't drink oh, alcohol. 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock Egypt time. Why would we not drink alcohol? Mm, I don't know. You, are you feeling, are you going to be all drunk by now? Of course not. No, no. exactly. We're going to no, be no, no, no. What I'm saying, yeah, we'll just have to kind of make sure that we figure it out, set our yeah, lambs yeah, and yeah. stuff, so we'll yeah. be able to forget. Because we want to be here with you guys and yeah. share this experience. Even if we're invited to dinners, whatever, we're not coming. Dana said, I need to use, oh, thank you, Dana. Thank you. I would love to meet you someday. Oh my God, you know what we need to do? Dana, we will come to Jordan and meet you. Yeah. Yeah, well, well that'd be nice, actually. Wouldn't yeah, it? it'd be nice. Yeah. It'd be so lovely. I love traveling. Yeah, so do I. I love we've been and need to be in places. Yeah. We've, we've got to many places. We've got there. We're like, oh, is this right or not? You know, we're testing out the world. Yeah. We even, uh, we, we, we even done caravan. Oh, we won't be repeating that one again. No, honestly, we need, I think we need to, the next thing we'll be talking about adventures we've had together. Yeah. So we should <laughs> oh, it's so funny. That'd be funny. I said to Farah, listen, we've been friends for so long. One thing she will never find me doing is camping. We're that not, one I will not We're not, not in do. the caravan. We're not doing caravan again. But what, do you know the kids loved it though? I know they did. They really did. Monica says, me too in Barcelona complete. Oh my god, we are coming to oh, Barcelona. We love Ooh, Barcelona. We are planning a girls' night out in Barcelona. Are we? With the girls. We're going to go to Barcelona. Remember you guys went to Barcelona without yeah. me? You so we're going to go. I didn't come, I was working. I yeah, we can go for your Hindu. Monica, you can come for Farah's Hindu. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Oh my gosh, if we're all in space. Oh, we can all meet. So maybe Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh my gosh! It's happening. Whoa! You you need to organize it, by the way. I need to organize that. So I'm where? Which spending. country have you been? Both. Oh my god, we've, oh, been, we've been to, to Lanzarote, Spain. Uh, we've been to Mallorca, Mallorca, Spain. We've been to <laughs> another country, have we? We've been to another one. Which one have we been to? abroad, we've been. We've been to your house in Spain as well. Houses, yeah. So different parts of Spain we've been to. We've been to Spain. Uh, we've been to. We haven't done long haul, have we? we want to no, we haven't done Mallorca. We, do we haven't Florida. done. You yeah, want to do Florida? We, have, we actually need to plan our holiday next year for the kids. Yeah. Because we do it for the kids. We take them. We and take. They love it. We take our expensive suitcases with us. In in terms of our eight year old, eight year old, and eleven, yeah. twelve, thirteen year old. We have a thirteen, year old. a nine, and a nine two, year old. Two thirteen, then a nine. Yeah, that's our expensive handbags. Yeah. That Dana says, oh, that would be a dear. Oh. Oh, yes, we will come to Jordan and see you, Dana. Hey, hey! Jordan sounds good. Too. Oh my god, Jordan sounds amazing. Jordan. Oh my gosh. I used to, Dana, oh. I used to live in Iraq when I was growing up. Mm. Um, and my dad, my dad's been to Jordan actually. Yeah. Uh, it was an Iraq Iran war that was going on then. And Jordan was like a place to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, was yeah. popular to yeah. like holiday. Yeah. It's a pretty, pretty little place. Yeah. Oh, I love, and I'm coming to see you, Monica, in Barcelona. I've been to Barcelona once. 
I love Barcelona. I know we've oh, moved, no, the, we really moved away from the topic that we're not talking about oh, travel. Oh my god, I remember I remember going past there and I remember seeing this 007 guy. Oh, well, James, James, well, well, which one? James Bond? James Bond. Oh, mm, <laughs> James Bond. Do you know about James Bond? I know about James Bond, yeah. James Bond, you know about? Which one? Sean Connery? No. Oh, which one? The guy, this this guy that we met. If you talk to Becky Clinton. <laughs> we found this. Hang on! Wait, 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 hang on! She did that with Restaurant, yeah. You know, you know when people are inviting you to go to the restaurant, you, and you met this Pierce guy looks so good. I was you like, met, you met Pierce Brosnan? No, he's the much younger. <laughs> uh, so he said, "Come into our restaurant." I was like, "Girls, we're going here because this yeah. guy just looks in his suit really nice." And we went in. We have food, and yeah. then uh, later on in the night, it converts to a nightclub. Yeah. So you go downstairs for like oh. clubbing. Oh my god, we had so much fun. <laughs> he treated us like VIP. Oh he like god. took us to the stage and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Oh my god. So we are going to. We are gonna be. What? I need to go look for that James Bond. I, I, I'm gonna find him when I go back. I need to go look for James Bond. It's so. Oh my god. Ever. No, I love Barcelona actually. And he was so kind, and mm. we loved it. And we danced till like five in the morning. But there was all these guys. Oh my god, guys! All these guys wait, 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 wait! Hang on, guys. <laughs> when this girl talks about dancing, you need to see if Aaron's dancing. Oh my god, I Did love you. you. Oh, 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 oh,
We took one of our friends. friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And Summers was such a horrible, horrible experience. Oh, oh my God. God. I was like, you should, but you don't belong here. Now, now I can go in. I don't have to. Make them body go in. I don't know if I still ask the questions, though. Like, what does that do? I remember me and my sister went to Amsterdam. We went into this shop, and this woman was just so open. I was like, oh, my God, do this. <laughs> this lady was selling stuff. Well, you do this with that, and this is anal beads. And I'm like, what the hell is anal beads? Anal beads. I, why? I can make you some of my beads. <laughs> you know, in fact, you thought about selling them. <laughs> no way. You have to take on your business. No. You have to. It's so special. <laughs> Anal beads, and I'm thinking, what Anal the beads. F- are you talking about? What the hell do you talk about? You know, we're just so lack less knowledge about no. these kind of things because if you're not looking, remember, if you're not looking out for these things, you don't yeah, know. Yeah, don't it. know. Yeah, and, um, yeah. We, I just felt like an idiot. Even me, my sister, we both. I it. remember the birthday you guys for my birthday you one know, time. You guys funny, bought. <laughs> the funny thing is, we, we bought these anal beads, right? Because oh, we sold them so hard. And then she, I said to Nadia, "If you use them, she goes, oh my god, they're ridiculous. I don't know what to do with them.'" I remember for my birthday, you guys bought me a vibrator. Because she just single recently. I was so single. I was <laughs> a, 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 an outfit. And then, oh my god, they got me see through outfit. Uh, who am I gonna wear this see through? I just recently came off my separation then. And then my girlfriend decided to cheer me up by buying me a vibrator I'm and a see through. Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Oh! No way! Really? Me and Becky don't know. Me and Becky, do we naturally come up with stuff like that? So Candice now told you guys to buy me a vibrator. Funny. And you know what? They, they actually they bought a vibrator, they bought like a gel, and they bought like a cleansing wipe. So I'm like, a girlfriend, what are you thinking? Like, really? That thing is still packaged in my cupboard. Is it? Yeah. It's a bunny one, isn't it? Those bunny, bunny, yeah. bunny. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, maybe I should package it and send it back to her. Oh, she needs the one than I do. Catalan man. Ooh. Oh, Catalan. Mm. You want to introduce the Catalan man? Catalan man. Hmm. 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 She can't talk. Now she's like, hmm. 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 Mama, 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 <laughs> screw that mama. No. When I, I think when I'm ready, when is your birthday? And, oh my god, my birthday's first April Fool's Day. <laughs> That's it, I rest my case. <laughs> that explains this. It's <laughs> April Fool's Day. So that is that explains my characteristics. Explains everything really. It's explains everything. That's what she has to put up with. So yeah, <laughs> April Fool's Day, so like, you know, yeah, what you see is what you get, that's it, but you know what, like, I, I continue to, not like I'm learning about sex, because I don't find interest in it, but good luck to people but who there, do. But there might be classes. Oh honey, I'm not, I'm, I'm not interested, I'm not interested, I'm not, I'm sure there's classes, I am sure there's yoga that opens you up, I'm sure there's things out there people are making money from, but for me, if it doesn't interest me... She's gonna start with anal beads. The best quality you can get. And your feet you can get. The oh, best experience of your life. <laughs> Thank you guys. We catch you in Egypt next week. Yes, guys. Oh my god. Thank you for all the um, interaction. We love Thank you so loads. much, guys. And, oh my uh, god. We'd love to meet you one day, absolutely. Oh my god. Thank you guys for your contributions. It's been amazing. Oh my god. I've laughed so I much about a so subject that is like. Funny. That yeah, yeah I find so tough. But you know what, guys? I'll let you know what I figure out. Guys. If you uh, subscribe to my channel, Little Coach Farah, yes. I show you how to cook. I show you how to get I six should, pack abs. I should show you how to use something beads. No, I don't have that. <laughs> like, well, you never know. That might be my next channel. <laughs> oh, so maybe not. No, uh, we don't want that channel. Farah, subscribe if you can, guys. And I need some. I need some like help with that. Let yeah. me know what what you she think. She makes she makes amazing food. Amazing food cooked with love. You and know. some exercises that you can do at home. Yes, and guys, don't worry. You might just film me doing press ups at the airport. Look out for our press Look out for my press up challenge. Uh, and this girl is going out tomorrow to get some support system. You know, I need to get one engineered for Anita We're because out every day. I have to wear double the thing to string this thing up. Yes.
the queen is positioned right correctly. The jacket does not come The, the jacket well. cannot even come. <laughs> I'm like this. But you know what? When God blesses a girl with some goods, you have to look after the goods. You know? <laughs> you have to look after the goods. You know the goods. Anyway, my lovelies, we love you guys. Kisses to love all of you. Too. Oh, Dana, lots of love to Jordan. We love you guys. Monica, have a lovely evening. Have a lovely evening. Don't, Mwah. don't forget to look after yourselves. Yeah, we love you guys. Mwah. Bye. Guys. Bye. See you guys! Bye guys! Bye. 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 See you Friday from, from Egypt! Egypt. Woohoo!